Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing the last of what I've got so far. Seven Brothers series. This is um, Routini, I think. Well, I don't know how to pronounce that. There you go. That's what it is. Uh, and this is a sticky toffee pudding and custard pale ale at 7%, like all the others. Um, if you don't know, there's, se there's going to be seven of these, I believe. Um, I've done... Four of them, three of them, no, two of them uploaded, one I accidentally deleted, so I'm going to redo that. Um, and this is the fourth one. It says here, hands up if you like sticky toffee pudding and custard. I mean, I do. Um, this dessert inspired pale ale is out of this world. And then it says what that, that is. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't even know what it is. Um, this one was made by Luke. Uh, one of the seven brothers. I think I've missed what the last who made the last one. Oh yeah, it was Dan. So yeah, like I said, seven of them, seven brothers, seven percent, and they turned seven this year. So it's all the sevens. So let's crack it open, shall we, and see what we've got. Right, so we've got ourselves a very hazy IPA looking orange coloured beer. Um, got ourselves a very, very slightly copper coloured head. Uh, very nice compact bubbles on that side, but then quite loose on this side. It's a bit all over the place. It looks quite nice. Looks like a standard pale ale or typical IPA or something like that, but I'm not going to judge it just from that. So let's get a smell, shall we, and see what we get. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. Christ, that is good. Okay. Toffee, custard, as you'd expect. Vanilla. Jam. Like a sort of raspberry-ish jam. Something else in there I can't put my nose on yet. That smells lovely. Let's get a mouthful for body and carb, shall we? Body and carb. Light medium. In between. Just right there. Both body and carb. There's no one's one way and one's the other. It's pretty much the same. So... Let's get a big old taste, shall we? That's what I'm dying for. Cheers. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Um, oh, that's, that's lovely. So, obviously, sticky toffee pudding and custard. That's your flavours. It's almost like when you get your pudding and your custard. Um, if you're a dunker, you know what I mean? You take your, you dunk it into. Um, it's almost like you're getting a bit of the pudding and then like a spoonful of custard and you're going back between the two. So you get your toffee pudding. And then the custard follows right after, and it leaves you with this sort of sticky texture in your mouth. Um, and you get another mouthful that goes back to the toffee and back to the custard. That is really good. It's also got the, the jam, the raspberry jam, like I said. <laughs> Pardon me. Very mildly underneath the whole thing. And the custard's more of a vanilla custard, if you know what I mean. It's more... Well, vanilla custard. It's sort of a blend between the two. It's not like one's trying to overpower the other. It's like it's a mixture and it's a nice, well-balanced mixture. That is very good. Oh, very good. I think that's my favourite so far. So, uh, out of the series, not beer. Although it could be. It's definitely up there. So... 
I'm gonna go away and enjoy this because I really enjoy this. So, Seven Brothers, Sticky Toffee Pudding, and Pale Ale Utini. I think that's how you pronounce that. I don't know. I don't know. They're from Salford, so it could be some Salford slang that I'm not aware of because I'm not from Manchester. Um, yeah, out of ten. It's going to be a nine. No, that's going to be a nine and a half. That is very good. It's very well done. Personally, for me, that extra half would have been from the body. I'd like it thicker. But that's me. That's just me being pit very picky. That is bang on. That's very good. I also didn't show you the can art. Uh, I'm assuming that's Luke playing guitar. Um, you got your pudding, some sweets, a spoon, jugs, and then more custard and sticky toffee pudding. Anyway, yeah, nine and a half out of ten. Very, very well done. That is a very, very nice beer. I really enjoy that. Seven percent as well. Very well hidden. Can't tell it's there. So, if you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think, if you like it. If you don't, um, if you've not had it, I'll leave the Seven Brothers website down below. Um, I think it's about £3.54. It's pretty cheap for a 7% beer from compared to what I've had. Uh, and, like I say, 9.5. It's very, very good. So, yeah, if you've not had it, appropriate links down below. Um, if you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down. All that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on etc etc so on and so forth and i'll see you later